there's a lot of people who will um, get math problems, and I, I really just hate giving you a math problem without actual putting it into context, but I'm going to do so for this example. And this is um, the left-hand side of an equation, and this is the right-hand side of an equation, and something pretty interesting happens here. I just want to make sure that you all realize that we're talking about some number x. We don't know what that number is, and that's what we're trying to do. We're trying to find the value of that x. Um, and what we're doing is we're adding two units to it, and it's all equal to, so three quarters of that number plus two units is equal to eight units. The first thing I want to do is, um, if I were going to draw a picture, and this was x, this whole thing was x, I'm looking about three quarters of this value, whatever this number is, three quarters of it, plus two is equal to eight. So the very first thing I want to do is I'm going to just do this real quick. Um, these are positive twos, and in order to get rid of positive twos, I have to add two negatives. And so I'm going to add two negatives here, but these were positive twos, all eight of them. And a positive and a negative turns to zero because they add to zero. So now I have three quarters x equal to, and you've guessed it, six. All right, so I bring down my three quarters x equal to six. And this is where people get confused. This is where people have a hard time. A lot of people um, will say, oh, well, you just divide by three quarters, and you just divide by three quarters, and then you realize that you don't have a calculator, and you're thinking, oh no, now what am I going to do? Well, here's where I'm coming in, all right? If you do have a calculator, good for you, but you should still understand how to do this. There's a number of ways of doing it. Um, and what I'm going to show you is this. If you have three quarters of some number, and it's equal to six, this is method one. Let's just put down method one. What you could do is, you could multiply by the reciprocal, which is 4 over 3. And the reason why is because 4 times 3 is 12, and 3 times 4 is 12, and then we get 12 over 12, which is 1. And 1 times x, you guessed it, just gives you x. Well, if you do that to one side, you have to do it to the other. And there's two ways of doing this. You could say 6 times 4 equals 24 over 3, which is 8, or and this is what I also like. You could say three. Hmm. You could say well, you could say hmm, but that won't do any good. Three goes into six twice, and then two times four also equals eight. So there's one method. So x equals eight. Another method, uh, which is kind of neat, is if you said three quarters x equals six, you could divide by three quarters, and then you could remember. Wait a second, what did we just do? We said 6 divided by 3 quarters. Well, that's just a division by fractions. And you should remember that 6 divided by 3 quarters is really the same as 6 times 4 over 3. And once again, you could say 24 over 3 equals 8, or 3 goes into 6 twice, and 2 times 4 equals 8. So that's also a possibility. I'm going to show you another way, and this is kind of cool. But this is one whole. I'm going to say this would be zero quarters, one quarter, two quarters, three quarters, and four quarters. Well, I have six divided by three quarters. Well, and that's zero, and I don't really like putting this one here because it says zero over zero, but I don't, so I don't really like that, but we'll ignore it for now. How do I get from zero to six if I had to make these jumps? Well. I can't go one, one, two, six. That doesn't make sense. If I want two, two, four, six. Oh, that makes sense. But I want to get to four over four, which is four over four is one. So six divided by three quarters is the same as eight over one. It's also equal to two over one quarter and four over two quarters. So it's equal to eight. So there are multiple ways of solving these. Um, and then obviously the easiest thing is just to do this. Six divided by three quarters. I'm not, uh, now here's the problem, I'm not sure. See, if you use a calculator, you might end up having problems. Six divided by 3 divided by 4, and you'll get 8. 
or 6 divided by, if you know that 3 quarters is really 0.75, you get 8. Um, but the problem with using the calculator is you don't actually know what's going on. So that's it. Quick uh, video on dividing by a fraction.